Greetings everyone, The Good Tonight here today with a more unique sort of review. So to start off with, I'm not wearing pants. And this is important, not because the camera cuts off at the waistline, but for a very important reason we'll get to shortly, so stay tuned for that. Now this review was actually sort of requested by a friend of mine because, well, it's something I've been holding on to for him for a while, and it is the Titman M4 car uh, carbine. So, as you may imagine, this belongs to the notorious Johnny, who is um, up in Tokyo right now, and his gun's down here in Okinawa, so this is interesting because I've played paintball once before, which is what where I recognize the word Titman here from, a little brand name, and as you can see, there's a gas valve here. So this is basically a CO2 sort of HPA tapped gun, so it's an airsoft gun that functions a lot like a paintball gun, with one of the key differences being that you can, you know, I think paintball guns automatically chamber from a hopper, but yeah, here you got a little tabby there, so that will release, much like a gas fill deck, has a little plunk there. Makes a cool noise when you fire it with gas and everything, but I can get the gas tank to work, so. He's got a little mag pull sights. A lot of this is going to be pretty basic. It does use little uh, normal AEG mags, so that's cool. So you got the benefit of AEG mags plus gas power, so you don't need to charge batteries or anything. It can be hand pumped, so you're not going to run out of power anytime soon unless you physically run out of strength. And yeah, so little pop up sights. It's nice long barrel and everything. I can sit it down pretty easily. And it sits at about waist level, which is important, so... Yeah, it's an interesting little gun. I've got some footage of him shooting it, so... If you're wondering what it sounds like, it sounds like this. We got a guy guys back there. Hey. We got like hey. two, three people behind the black car. Around. Oh, yeah. Alright. That sounds sexy. And yeah, so... Really, really unique, fascinating little gun we got here now. As you're wondering, this little part, as opposed to having a gas magazine or anything, plugs in via this little hosey. And the hose connects to a can, so very, uh, very paintball-like in that regard, so. It's actually surprisingly light for a gas gun, although it is also mostly metal, so. It might be heavy to some, but from what I've been growing accustomed to over time, this feels a lot lighter, so. Now you swap that battery, it's got a bunch of Tipman markings, as you can, whoa, as you can see right here. Little Tipman, M4, Carbine, all that stuff. He still has his, this little tab here from, what was it? You have the airsoft thing we went to. Tokyo, Tokyo Survival Game Park, there it is. Yeah, so he's got his tabs there, he's got mag pull sights. And yeah, all in all, it's a pretty cool looking gun, sounds really nice. And the most important part, if you play it yourself, you know you need an air tank. And this is why there are no pants today. Johnny is a proud supporter of Harambe Air, which is um, CO a little CO2 tank sort of cylinder dedicated to our lord and savior, Harambe. So, no pants, takes out for Harambe. This is probably the greatest air tank of all time, and it would explain why Johnny was so successful every time out on the field. Little Miss Harambe salute you but yeah that's all i got for this review hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions i'm not terribly familiar with hpa type guns so i will ask johnny johnny will know i don't i haven't really played with these but yeah cool stuff cool concept there's people who really like it and they are few and far in between and they all seem from my experience to be pretty cool people so there you go everyone cheers stay chill bros